comment, rate, subscribe. You're on Unusual Facts on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Today we'll talk about the neat hidden features in iOS 11. Controlling Control Center. Apple has redesigned Control Center. Everything now fits on one page so that you don't have to swipe around. But it means that some shortcuts are tucked away. Deep press or long press on an iPad on network icons to access AirDrop and personal hotspot on the brightest indicator to access night shift and more. Customizing Control Center. That's not all. You can finally add custom icons to the Control Center panel. Well, at least some. Apple is still limiting those shortcuts to iOS features and native apps. But it feels good to be able to trigger low power mode or launch voice memos from Control Center. Emergency Mode if you're facing an emergency, you can now press the sleep-wake button five times to activate emergency mode. On the iPhone X, you need to long press the sleep-wake button and the volume button. This mode disables Touch ID and Face ID so that nobody can force you to unlock your phone. You can also access medical information and call 911 from this screen. Chances are, you've been to a friend's place and didn't join the Wi-Fi network because the password was too complicated. But now, if another iOS device tries to join the same Wi-Fi network as the one you're currently using, iOS will show this pop-up so that you can effortlessly share the password with this device. Record your screen from your device. If you're a developer, you're going to love this. You can now add a custom shortcut to the control center to record your screen. After a three second countdown, your iOS device records everything you do and saves the movie file to your photo library. Customize AirPods shortcuts. With iOS 11, you can now configure two different shortcuts for the AirPods. For instance, you can double tap on the left AirPod to trigger Siri and double tap on the right AirPod to skip to the next track. Watch out Google Maps! Apple Maps is learning some new tricks. The team is slowly adding maps of malls and airports. You can now search for the nearest restaurant or navigate through different floors. I know, Google Maps users. Google's app has had this for years, but some people like Apple Maps. Do not disturb while driving. If you connect your phone to your car using Bluetooth, iOS can now automatically turn on Do Not Disturb while driving. When this is on, iOS silences all notifications so that you can stay focused on the road. And if you don't use Bluetooth in your car, iOS can auto-detect when you're driving based on your location and accelerometers. Screenshot Magician It looks like Apple is learning from Snapchat and Instagram. When you take a screenshot in iOS 11, a thumbnail appears in the bottom left corner. If you open it, you can crop your screen, annotate it, and open it in another app. Even better, when you hit Done, iOS asks if you want to keep the screenshot or if you want to delete it right away. Finally, the great app purge of 2017. In the App Store settings, you can now automatically delete apps you don't regularly use. Icons won't appear from your home screen, but the next time you're going to try and open the app, iOS will download the app from the App Store first. 16 gigabyte iPhone owners are going to love this. Scan QR codes. QR codes are so passe, or maybe not. When you point the iPhone camera at a QR code, iOS is now smart enough to detect that it's a QR code and read it. And if you spend your life in WeChat, you know how important this feature is. Smaller photos. 
iPhone cameras are getting better and better, but it means that photos and videos are also getting heavier. A 4K video at 60 frames per second is going to take a ton of space. iOS 11 now uses HEIF and HEVC for photos and videos. It means that your media files should be half the size for the same quality, and if you send an email with a photo or video, iOS automatically converts these files to standard JPEG and MP4 for non-iOS devices. iPad Double Keyboard Can you see those gray letters on the iPad? On the iPad, if you swipe your finger down on a key, you can type a number or symbol without going to the second keyboard. It takes a bit of time to get used to, but it's quite efficient. Evernotes On the iPad, the Notes app is learning some new tricks. You can now scan documents using the Notes app. iOS also tries to index your handwriting so that you can search for your notes later. Many hardcore Evernote users were waiting for this to switch over. Neat hidden features in iOS 11. Let us know in the comments below if you know any other hidden features for iOS 11. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something new. Make sure you're subscribed, share this video with a friend, and never miss another video from Unusual Facts.